Hi Cancer, this is your bonus April tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this bonus reading. In the first spread we'll look at the, the urgent message you need to know right now and it could be about pretty much anything, whatever comes up. Then in the second spread we'll either look at the advice in regards to the first message or an advice in general for the next couple of weeks. And in spread number three we'll see the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Cancer, so here's what you urgently need to know right now. We have uh, the Five of Wands clarified by the Five of Swords. Uh, we have uh, the Six of Cups clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. And we have uh, the Page of Cups clarified by the Devil. And we also have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn or pretty much any Zodiac sign. What you urgently need to know is um, one of your exes is coming back. Right, and uh, you'll know who this is. Uh, if uh, you, when the two of you broke up, it was just ugly. You know, perhaps you were fighting all the time or there was just that one fight or final fight that was the final nail in the coffin or it just fell apart in a, in a major ugly way. Right, I'm not over-exaggerating because we have uh, the Five of Wands clarified by the Five of Swords in the beginning of this reading, right? Uh, both of those two cards are fighting cards, um, conflict cards, drama cards. This is With the Five of Swords, this is when somebody slams the door on the way out. And it was just bam, it just fell apart, right? And uh, if you can think of someone like that, that would be the person coming back. And I'm not surprised because we have Mercury retrograde starting on April 21st, and this is when more exes than usual tend to resurface, so here's one of them. <laughs> Alright, this Mercury retrograde is lighting up the fire underneath this person's butt. Anyway, we got the Six of Cups, so I fight by the Wheel of Fortune. The Six of Cups is a card of a soulmate card, but at the same time it is a card of somebody coming back from the past. The Wheel of Fortune could be a Sag who is coming back, but uh, perhaps the Wheel of Fortune is what they want. They want to restart a cycle between you and them. Right, um, the Page of Cups clarified by the Devil, here's where the tricky part comes in. If this person is a Capricorn, then uh, they, their apology could be legit. The Page of Cups is an apology. And uh, the Devil could be a Capricorn card. It's a Capricorn Major Arcana card. If they're not a Capricorn, then uh, <laughs> perhaps you'll need to think twice, right? The Devil could be a card of Lust. The devil could be a card of temptation, the devil could be a card of a very toxic individual, very tempting situation. So perhaps this is somebody you still haven't cut the cord with, it could be a karmic situation with the devil card. But yeah, the, the Page of Cups is a card of an apology, this is them reaching out to you, perhaps they will even send you a bouquet of flowers, they'll be super nice to you with the Page of Cups. Right, and uh, the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, I think this is you kind of stuck thinking about this, what are you, what you want to do. May I suggest one thing, um, Cancer? Let's uh, move forward and take a look at the second spread. <laughs> the second spread is, just happens to be the advice spread. Alright? Cool. Here's the advice spread for you, Cancer. Um, this is for the situation we saw in the first spread. We have Judgment, we have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Three of Swords, we have uh, the Six of Swords and the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The advice for you, Cancer, is to move, boom, to move on. Finally cut the cord and um, make it final. Never, ever, ever go back to this person. You can do whatever you want, this is just a suggestion, but that's what the... This person is nothing but trouble. You know, major, huge headache heartbreaks and it kind of looks like um, even if they are on their best behavior for the first couple of weeks I don't know, a couple of months I think it will eventually all go down the drain okay we start with the judgment card confirmation this is somebody from your past judgment is a card of somebody coming back from the past at the same time um, since this is the advice spread this is um, you making the judgment call right the next card that came out is the Nine of Swords clarified by the Three of Swords. So those two cards are talking about somebody devastated. Somebody who can't get out of bed, someone's heartbroken, somebody feels betrayed, things like that. And I think that would be you, and perhaps that was already you when the two of you broke up in that massive, after that massive fight, right, or series of massive fights. And uh, the remaining two cards on the table, the Six of Swords with the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck, this is the uh, most important piece of this advice. In both of those two cards, the person, you know, has turned their back to the left, and the left is usually considered to be the past. 
In the Six of Swords, the person is rowing away. In the uh, Three of Wands, the person is making future plans. And besides that, the Three of Wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and after that, there is no turning back. All right, so this is you cutting the cord. This is you finally turning the back to this person and forgetting about them, sending them back to the past where they belong. All right, so that's what we have so far. Let's move on. Uh, spread number three is the next good thing that'll happen to you in the near future. Here's the third spread, uh, Cancer. This is the next good thing that'll happen to you. That'll at least put a smile on your face. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups clarified by the King of Wands. We have uh, the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Two of Cups. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by Strength. And we have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a fellow uh, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. To be honest with you, Cancer, I got a confession to make. I clarified every single card hoping <laughs> to see a commitment or marriage card. We don't have any. However, this still looks awesome. It still does. We got some more details about the person or clarifications about the person coming your way. And you definitely have someone coming your way, someone amazing, okay? I usually go with a king or a queen, uh, or both, if one or both show up. So we got this king and one's clarifying the knight of cups. So that would be the person coming into your life, right? It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. Um, they could also have water in their chart, because they're clarifying uh, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But uh, if we want to look at all these cards we have on the table together, then what I can tell you right away is that this person is very loving, okay? They're very confident. They're serious about you. And uh, this is your soulmate, okay? Very loving, very serious, confident soulmate, <laughs> right? Because the Knight of Cups is the most romantic knight out of all four knights. The Knight of Cups is often referred to as the Prince in a Shining Armor or uh, Knight in a Shining Armor or Prince Charming, right? Very romantic person, okay? But it doesn't mean they're just going to be talking the talk. They're going to be walking the walk, all right? Uh, first of all, the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is a card of victory and success. It's a card of confidence, it's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. This is them coming towards you, wanting to win you over. All right, it's a card of attention. You definitely have this person's full and undivided attention. Back in the day, the Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal card, right? Um, right next to that Knight of Cups with the King of Wands, we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Two of Cups. If this uh, King of Wands is a Sagittarius, it makes sense. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is a Sagittarius card. But at the same time, the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a cycle. It's a major arcana card. They do mean business. They want to get involved with you. They want to get serious with you. They want to move forward with you. Right? The Two of Cups clarifying it is a soulmate card. And there's two people in the Two of Cups. I would just have to assume that's you and them. <laughs> it's a card of not just a soulmate. It's a card of um, when two people see eye to eye, two people feel the same way towards one. One another. And uh, the best came out last, I guess. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by Strength. Strength is a Leo card, right? So you see, uh, we have uh, the King of Wands, so who could be a fire sign, but then we have uh, both Sag and Leo represented here by their major arcana cards. But uh, Strength could be a card of loyalty. You know, one of the interpretations of the Strength card is loyalty, it's also a card of courage. All right, and uh, the Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. So technically you have two proposal cards on the table. The Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck, like I said, used to be called a proposal card, and the Ace of Pentacles often does come through as a proposal card. If it's not a proposal in April, that's that's what they're aiming for. They're, they're thinking long term. They're thinking something serious with you, right? The Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, somebody who is ready to, to get serious to start a family and things like that. So you see this person is like a jack of all trades. Very loving, very romantic, but at the same time they mean business, they're very confident, they want to uh, get serious with you, and there is a golden opportunity for you with that Ace of Pentacles. They're looking to marry you, I guess, <laughs> in the future, and uh, you guys are going to be on the same page with that Two of Cups, and it is your soulmate. Alright, so yeah. Cancer. That's what I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing the rest of the month.